I got to stand on the back row and the photo out there. Um, like Tim said, it's, a, it's an extremely uh, humbling honor to be here tonight. Um, I wanted to thank everybody from my district who came. Uh, I wanted to thank our uh, fantastic new superintendent, uh, Dr. Bishop, my always supportive principal, uh, Michelle Williams, our parent of the century, Sylvia Amaya, uh, who was Rebecca's mom. Uh, and Rebecca for uh, representing the fantastic group of kids that I get to work with every single day. Um, I, uh, I did lament a little bit about the long, comprehensive application process and the essays that I had to write. Um, and I wanted, I realized as I was going through it, it was just such a, a good opportunity to uh, reflect on teaching and uh, why I chose to be in the classroom each day. And I wanted to share one idea with that, uh, or from that with you. From the civic leaders, policy makers, business people, <laughs> medical practitioners, scientists, and the innovators who shape our way we, the way we live, to farmers, public service workers, military, tradespeople who form the backbone of America, to the people who etch out a way of life on the margins of society, and the people tucked away from view in overcrowded jails. Everyone in America passes through our doors and spends a good deal of time with us. We live where the rubber meets the road. The fact that we live in that area gives teachers as a group an immense opportunity to change, excuse me, to change uh, our society. It gives us a great chance to promote healthy and sustainable ways of life, to level the playing field for all people, to heal the wounds of iniquity, to work towards true equality, to close the achievement gap, to transcend issues of poverty, race, and gender, and to create good citizens for our country. Thank you for having me here tonight.